Hey there everybody, this is Andrew with Disrupt It Yourself and today I just wanted to show you a quick video and kind of go over my experience with the Nomad 883 Pro from Carbide 3D. You'll see me unboxing it here with my little helper, the Junior Disruptor. Uh, this is a great machine and the out-of-box experience has been very impressive. I've never used a CNC machine before. You know I have plenty of experience with 3D printers, but I've been wanting to branch out into other materials and branch out into subtractive methods as well. And my experience so far has been very smooth. I'll be honest, I was pretty nervous when I knew this machine was going to be coming into my shop. I didn't know if I was going to be able to handle it. I was confident, but I thought it would take me a lot longer. Now you can see here, these were my very first cuts with a bit of material they give you. It's aluminum with some plastic in the middle, and it went really well. But quickly, I wanted to start using other materials, so I got some wood, some beautiful hardwood, and I found out that Home Depot will actually cut wood for you for free, even if you didn't buy it there. That was super helpful. So now I had some nice hardwood to use on the machine and I got it all set up and started making some cuts for a project that I'm working on. Um, it's not as loud as I expected it to be. It's definitely loud and probably louder than the most 3D printers of course, but because this machine is enclosed, if you're like me and you're really just set up for 3D printers, this is probably the best option for you because of course you can use it as a mill as well, but when you're cutting harder materials, because you can just pull the acrylic cover down and most of the rest of the machine is pretty well enclosed, the noise is pretty manageable. And then I just use a vacuum intermittently and at the very end to clean things up. And to be honest, the vacuum is quite a bit louder than the machine. So maybe if you can find a quieter vacuum than the one I've got, you might be better off. But it works really well in this kind of setting because I can clean things up, I don't get wood chips all over the place and, and dust. I'm able to keep it really contained. I actually just use a can of compressed air too to occasionally blow some of that dust away so that it doesn't get in the way of the end mill cutting. And I've done a few little projects and I think they've turned out really great. I'm happy with the results and I'm especially just happy with how quickly I've been able to get into this technology and the resources that Carbide 3D provides on their website are really great. It was enough for me to get the machine set up and start cutting the same day and I've just been doing it um, a couple times a week, almost every night to be honest, for the last two weeks and I'm feeling surprisingly confident for having used this new tool for not very long at all. And the more I use it, the more confident I am. And I'm mostly just focusing on doing projects with this wood that I've got until I'm ready to move into some metal. I've definitely been planning on using acrylic as well um, and doing some circuit boards since this works really well as like a PCB mill, which just adds even more value to this machine. So you can see I had some fun making this little logo out of some hardwood. And I've been playing with making some other things. I actually painted this piece of wood first and then did my cuts. Ironically, it failed in the end. That was my fault. But I'm learning and I'm enjoying the process of learning to use a CNC machine. And I haven't done PCBs yet, but I will very soon. And when I do, I'll make a separate video so we can talk a little bit about that. So if you're like me, what you're most likely to compare the Nomad to is what used to be called the other mill but now it's been rebranded as Bantam Tools Desktop PCB Mill. That machine happens to be $31.99 and all you get for workable volume is 5.5 by 4.5 by 1.6 inches, which is great for circuit boards and by no means not a good machine from what I can see. But for only $24.99, if you get the Nomad, you actually get 8 by 8 by 3 inches of workable volume. That means you can work with bigger pieces of wood like what I'm doing, and I really don't think too many people probably work with wood on the Bantam Tools mill, because that's really not a lot of space to work with. Probably great still for circuit boards and aluminum, which is really what it's mostly made for, but if you want those other options, and on the Nomad, you can really even do bigger pieces of acrylic, which is something I've always wanted. If I had to choose only one machine to get so I could branch out, use new materials, 
and do something more than just 3D printing with my projects, the Nomad 883 Pro was really the best choice because I've got enough room that I can work with wood, acrylic, aluminum, do circuit boards, and that's all with just one machine. I definitely recommend it to someone who, like me, just wants to start branching out and doing something a little bit more than just 3D printing with their projects. Alright guys, thanks for checking out this video. I appreciate your time and your attention. Please do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, and if you've got any questions about the Nomad, let me know. I'd be happy to do more videos. Like I said, I'll definitely be doing one about making circuit boards on the Nomad. That'll be a lot of fun. But if you've got any other ideas that I can't think of, please go ahead and leave me a comment here in this video and we'll give it a shot because I'm learning and we can learn together. All right, keep on making awesome stuff. Take it easy.